update from the Juvenile Justice Center here in San Francisco, where the third hearing of the defendant who's been charged with attempted murder and armed robbery of 49ers wide receiver Ricky Pearsall just concluded. Matters kicked further down the road with the next pretrial conference scheduled for November 12th in this matter. The San Francisco District Attorney's Office subpoenaed some medical records from the San Francisco Fire Department and from San Francisco General Hospital of the defendant in this case, who's a 17-year-old from Tracy, and those documents, about 70 to 80 pages worth from San Francisco General Hospital, were granted from the judge to the district attorney during the hearing today. It lasted only a few minutes, and the next one's going to be November 12th. I've reached out to the San Francisco District Attorney's Office to see if a decision has been made about whether or not they're going to pursue these charges in adult court instead of this juvenile court against the defendant. Last hearing was a couple weeks ago, and we heard from Bob Dunlap, who's the public defender in this case, and Dunlap said that he had hoped that a decision would come from the DA's office by this third hearing as to whether or not this case would be tried in adult court. Dunlap today announced in court that he would not be speaking to the media after because he had other cases to attend to, so uh, no chance to ask him if the DA has indeed indicated whether a decision is close. So I went ahead and reached out to the DA's office directly, and I'll let you know if and when they answer so that we have a little bit more of a tangible update in this Ricky Pearsall incident. Anyway, that's the update from this third, uh, from this third hearing in the Ricky Pearsall incident from the Juvenile Justice Center. You'll have more from me soon.